What's up, guys? It's Brian from Ashford Hub. It's about 8.56 a.m. Eastern Time, February 22nd, 2018. Coming to you with a trading video on Bitcoin. But first, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, upvote, re-steam, and subscribe to us on Steemit or DTube. Links are down below if you guys are not there. Get there. Um, yeah, and like I said, if you find this information valuable, we would be very, very gracious for your upvote or re-steam even your subscription we would very very gracious <laughs> so let's get into it market has been selling off here a bit a bit of a correction and I would really really it really do mean a bit of a correction it may feel like a lot but we'll show you why it's kind of a bit so <clears throat> we were talking last night and we were talking about this possibly being a one two three four five um, it's pierced through the 10,000 level which is right here Pierce through the 10,000 level, which we thought it was going to get to, and obviously it did. Um, and our question was whether or not this was truly a one, two, three, four, five. And the more I look at it, um, the more I feel that it possibly is not. Especially if I look at it on a one hour basis, you can see the four, uh, the body of the four has well eclipsed um, the body of the one right here. And if you look at it on a different time frames, it tells you something a little bit different. But um, I don't know. That's kind of what I'm. That's kind of what I'm going with right now. I don't really think that this is a one, two, three, four, five, in particular for that reason, and also for the reason that I feel like we're in a channel. Yes, I love channels. Love channels. It's the flavor of the day or the flavor of the week. Um, but. Uh, yeah, so let's let's kind of delete this one, two, three, four, five. I really don't think that's what it is. What I think this really is 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 an A, B, C, and then we have one, two, three, four, five going up. Go ahead and look at it in a smaller time frame. You'll see this one, two, three, four, five coming up. You can do the Fibonacci extension from the first wave, and you'll see that the third wave is much larger than the first wave. Yada yada yada. So now let's go ahead and take a look at uh, this. This one, two, three, four, five. Um, I don't think that this is this is happening exactly just like this. Something similar may happen, but not exactly just like this, um, because this really doesn't look like a one, two, three, four, five for me. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and, and delete this for right now. And what we're gonna do is is we're going to play with uh, this channel right here. I know, I love it. So here we go. Let's go ahead and adjust this a bit. Okay. This could possibly be a channel, possibly. Okay. Um, where we have, you know, our A, B, C, one, two, three, four, five, and then we're going to have another A, B, C coming down. Okay, something like this. It's a little, little messy, but you know, nothing wrong about things being messy. Look at this channel right here, where things, pe you know, peaked out all over the place. And this is, I would consider, I'd imagine anybody would consider, uh, to be a channel right, right here. So this possibly could be as well. And this is kind of, you know. It's it's difficult to say what it's exactly going to turn out to, um, but it's some sort of some sort of a flat, I believe. Um, so we're going to be looking at <clears throat> this channel right here. In the event that uh, the market completely ignores it, then obviously we know we have to reset our our our, our plan A game plan. And <clears throat> let's go ahead and take a look at the RSI real quick. RSI, you could see here. Um, yeah, this is on an hour basis. RSI tried to make, try to get up below this, um, to to cross over this uh, this bottom of this channel line here. Tried to do the same thing here, and then it just fell off precipitously. QQE indicator did a good job of going ahead and trying to pick up these small little movements, right here. And let's go ahead and look at the Laguerre RSI. <clears throat> Okay, Laguerre based RSI. Um, I gotta get myself a headset. 
I had a I had this high quality mic, but it's too difficult. <laughs> My keyboard's too far away. So, um, yeah. So we have uh, yeah, the Laguerre RSI, Laguerre RSI topped out here, um, bottomed out here, uh, bottomed out here, topped out here. I mean, this is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, this is basically as, as as good as you get. Uh, as far as as far as o oscillators are concerned, as far as like simplistic, um, I, I wouldn't say this is simplistic. It's kind of an intermediary as far as a calculation is concerned. Um, not intermediary, in intermediate, um, uh, a difficult level as far as calculation is concerned. Um, low intermediate um, uh, as far as calculation is concerned. So. What we're going to be looking for right here, uh, as, as you see the RSI, the GAR RSI has bottomed out here. Possibly we're we'll looking for it to turn here and obviously break to the north right here. And possibly we would then go ahead and kind of move to the top of this channel. All right. Moving to this top of this channel may, be, may get us to the bottom right here. And then we're going to have to continue to see what's going on from there. The volume, we had some pretty large volume candles. All right pretty large volume candles. Let's go ahead and take a look on a Fibonacci basis. F -f Fibonacci, which we love so much. Helps to push the button. Okie dokie. So, um, 236 is at 10,375, understood. We had this level here of about 10,000. Okay, and we have the 3A2. The 3A2 happens to be about 9,528 approximately. We also have this line drawn right here of 9,400, uh, uh, let's call it 9,500, which is the top right here. Okay, this also could be a landing zone for, uh, for, for the price. Okay, the 50% retracement, you know, 0. 0.5 happens to be at 8,843, which is, I would just say, it's really just the top of one right here. And so this would kind of be a range for me. I would look at this at this support uh, as a range bound of, let's say, 9,100 to 8,843, you know, somewhere around there. So what could possibly happen from here is that we go ahead and we have... Um, uh, let me just draw it like this. We have this this come up uh, like this, and then we have another one coming down like this, and this would make us to our 0 0.382. Something along these lines makes a lot of sense. Uh, RSI is oversold. It's not super oversold on the traditional RSI, but that doesn't really mean very much. Um, I look more at the Laguerre RSI to see if things are truly oversold or overbought. Um, I look at the regular RSI as more of kind of like a trend, um, kind of doing some trend analysis, some Elliott Wave analysis on, uh, on this uh, in particular. So what, <clears throat> excuse me, what, uh, what, what leads me to believe is that this retracement has has not gone significantly enough. 3A2 is almost respectable uh, as far as a retracement or correction is concerned. 236 is a paltry, it's an appalling, it's a paltry um, uh, <laughs> a retracement. Like I said last night, it's just not significant enough or large enough in order for it to be a springboard, in order for the market to really run up much higher. From that point, um, and, and, uh, yeah, uh, so hopefully th we'll get down to, uh, this 3A2 level, um, where we'd be a bit more confident for there, us to really kind of break through the top of this, the top of this trend line, um, right here, which is the top of the channel or descending wedge, depending on, depending on the way in which you look at it. All right. So I think we're going to leave it there for right now. Um, I consider myself lucky that there aren't many extraneous noises in the background. <laughs> so before I get some some hate mail about that, I'm going to leave it right there. So happy trading, guys, and speak to you guys soon.